<clears throat> okay, so I think we're getting somewhere here. Uh, apparently, I had the wrong stream key, so I had to go into OBS and change a few things, but... Um, there's not going to be a face cam today. Basically, I'm just cleaning up some resin and what have you. Maybe I could include the face cam, I suppose. Um, not, maybe it's not a good idea to do that. I'm not the only one that's uh, home here today, so I'm just going to leave the face cam off. And uh, basically what I'm doing today is I'm working with, uh, I'm not working with resin as in pouring, but... I just, um, I have all of these little pieces here that were on tape uh, to help, you know, set the resin and uh, now the backs need to be cleaned off. So that's what I'm going to work at and I kind of figured if anyone wanted to pop in and say hi, um, they could. I'm just going to turn on a light back here and hope that it's not going to be too bad. Stop licking my foot, Pixie can't do anything in this house. One of the dogs are always licking me. Okay, so I have some of this 100% um, acetone stuff here for doing nails, um, nail polish remover, what have you. Um, I bought this because I used to wear a lot of um, fake nails and it was apparently really good for soaking off the product that I was using. So I got that. <clears throat> Um, someone's here in the chat, but I can't see. Um, Ryan on demand. Hi, how's it going? I'm not used to streaming as much anymore, so it might take me a little... Oh, there we go. Now I can see what's going on. I uh, hope the audio and everything is okay. Um, there's just going to be like a pretty chill stream. I'm doing this. I also have some findings, um, jump rings and what have you, and my necklace pieces over here in this bin, so I'm going to be working on that for this stream. And um, that's probably going to be about an hour or so, because then um, my fiance is going to be home, and then it's time for, um, you know, family things and what have you. So <laughs> basically, uh, I say basically a lot. Anyway, um, what I did was, um, if you've seen any of my videos before, I have some of these pieces here that I've taped to a piece of um, like packaging tape. And because the packaging tape residue is on the back of the pendant here, I can't sell this um, with it being so sticky. So I have been told that using the acetone will um, help remove the stickiness from the back side of the tape. So we're going to try that. I have used a different kind of nail polish remover, but I'm just wondering if this 100% acetone remover is going to be better than the other stuff that I use. So I'm going to do my best to stay in frame here. I don't know how well it's going to work. It is taking off the, um, the residue, but I don't know how good it's going to be. I don't know if this live stream is going to be interesting to people or not. Um, I've had a few comments saying that uh, resin wasn't that interesting on my channel. So, I mean, if you're not interested in resin, this is really not the best uh, live stream for you guys to be sitting in on. <clears throat> but if you're watching this at a later date, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. And thanks for joining the stream today if you're here. Like I said, I'm hoping to get these done fairly quickly. And you can see now that my finger is not, it's still sticking just a little bit down in the corner, but this 100% acetone uh, nail polish remover is a lot better than the, just the generic um, drugstore brand, I'm going to say. But yeah, there's no, um, this was a lot easier to clean than the last one. There's absolutely no stickiness left on there whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing the other ones. Now I've got the other side kind of dirtied up, so I'll have to polish that after. Um, and then I'll go ahead and put the uh, necklace pieces and everything on, package them up, and uh, they'll be good to go. Um, I'm going to the Gander Geek Fest tomorrow in Gander, Newfoundland, so um, that's where I'll be. And I'll have these with me, so if there's anyone local watching that would be interested in uh, purchasing any of my 
resin pieces, and that's where you can find me Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I don't think I have many local people watching my YouTube channel. And again, I didn't um, announce that I was live streaming, so barely anyone's probably going to show up. I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit, and then I'm going to wipe it off. This works so much better than the other stuff that I was using. But I have to wear gloves because it stains my fingers. It's it doesn't stain, I guess, the, the nail polish remover seeps into my fingers, and it just doesn't, um, it takes days for it to go away, so I learned my lesson with that, and now I just use, um, the rubber gloves. This one's still a little bit sticky. I kind of like how the, um, the acetone makes it, uh, a little bit shiny, but then when you wipe it off, it kind of goes away. So you lose that little bit of shininess. You can get polish for the resin as well, but this is the back side anyway, so it doesn't really doesn't bother me a whole lot. Just up there in the corner. I'm trying not to get it on the front because apparently I'm smudging everything up. This is what the front of this one looks like, and now I've got it covered in, uh, where's the camera? I've got it covered in, uh, the nail polish remover, so now I have to clean the front of that too, but I think a little bit of soap and water will clean that up real nice. I have a couple people in the stream here. Acetone eats through the gloves. Learn the hard way. That is good to know. <laughs> uh, hi, Galena, how are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for the tip. I'm hoping I can get through these without it eating through the gloves. We'll see what happens. I've gotten a couple done, and it's it seems to be holding up pretty good. So let, let's see if I can get through these. I don't have too many to do. I think it was like 13 of them. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the uh, the wax cords that I have. If you're just joining, um, I'm getting ready for, I guess, a convention tomorrow. There was a, a geek fest uh, happening in the next town, and uh, there's gonna be a few actors there. Acetone eats everything. Yeah, that's why I put the gloves on. Um, I was using a nail polish remover for the last lot that I had made, and um, I forgot to wear gloves, and then I ended up, after washing my hands, I ended up having my fingers um, near my mouth, and I could taste the, uh, the nail polish remover on my fingers. I didn't like that much, so I thought this time I would wear the gloves, so we're going to see, we're going to see how long they'll last for anyway. These are just a little bit sticky right on the edges. Do you have um, another recommendation? Like, do you do resin, um, resin pendants and whatnot? And do you have anything that you can use other than acetone? I found the little drawing the other day. I won from you like five years ago. It's been a nice while since I've uh, done a giveaway on the channel. I think maybe when I reach um, 2,000, I'll probably do another small giveaway. Hopefully, you're gonna. My goal is to reach 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. We'll see how that. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. My subscriber count kind of been going up and down lately, so it's kind of hard to judge exactly what's happening. But I think 2,000, uh, okay, I can't see what's going on down here. Um, try Goof Off and Goo Gone. I don't know. I'm, I have to go shopping on Sunday, so maybe I'll go and check to see if I can 
find some. We have a, a Walmart in the next town over, so maybe they might have it. Gugan kind of makes sense to use. So maybe I'll uh, try to get some of that. I'm hoping the acetone doesn't eat through the friggin' um, the resin, because that wouldn't be good at all. Sorry, I have a sailor's mouth, so I try not to curse while I'm online. Just so, you know, just in case there's some young ears watching. <laughs> I think these are, yeah, this one's not sticky anymore. I do have to clean them up after, though, because now I'm getting it on the other side. They're still holding up yet. Why would you research on YouTube or Google? I did do research, and what I'm using is what I found um, in most of the recommendations for cleaning um, the pendants when you're doing bezels. I think that's how you say it. Um, everywhere that I went, that's what they recommended. They recommended to use the um, acetone or nail polish remover. I tried using rubbing alcohol. That did not do anything. That was just a waste of time. So I decided not to try that again. But this stuff just seems to be working pretty good, so... Still a little bit sticky. But I think the Goo Gone might do the, uh, might do the trick. I never thought of using that. <clears throat> I don't have a overhead, uh, camera right now either, so I know it's a little bit harder for people to see what I'm doing sometimes. Oh, that all stuck on. One so I find that sometimes it works better than others. This one here is still quite sticky. And I feel like it shouldn't take that much to get it off. It's just a little bit of tackiness from the glue. 90% alcohol or 70. Um, I used a 90%. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't doing anything. Like eight of these things left to do. I really like how the um, horse camera, the blue and the white one turned out, kind of remind me of the ocean. The camera doesn't really pick it up a whole lot, but whatever doesn't um, sell at the convention, I plan on putting them on my Etsy store. So if anyone is interested, you'll find them there eventually. Sorry, I have to remember to try to work and talk at the same time. <clears throat> I kind of figured I would do a little bit of a live stream because I didn't put a video out again this week. I am in the process of recording a, um, a studio vlog, but um, <clears throat> work has been a little bit crazy this week, and now the convention is this weekend, and then next week um, I have a wedding, so kind of hard to fit everything in and then two weeks after that there's a big festival here in town that um that i work at and so i have to help with that so it's kind of going to be a little bit crazy until the second week of august and hopefully i'll get back on track again But I've been trying not to, like I said at the beginning, I've been trying not to add the... Oh, this one's still sticky. I've been trying not to add the resin stuff into my studio vlogs too much because I had a couple of people say that it wasn't that interesting to watch. Um, so I didn't want to... Um, just wanted to keep it a little bit separate, so... That one's not too bad now. 
I also found um, using, I have some color dyes as well. These were done with um, mica flakes, I guess that's what they're called. And there are bubbles in them, but I kind of like the bubbles and I don't want to get rid of them. Um, especially in the ones that kind of give the, the look of like the ocean. Um, but I found what I'm trying to get at um, is that I find that the liquid helps set the resin a lot better than the mica powder flakes, I guess that's what they're called. They kind of, um, I, I poured a couple of silicone molds and they came out really squishy and I couldn't even use them. They didn't even set. So I don't think I'm going to try that again because resin is not cheap. It's not cheap at all. So I just don't want to waste it. I have created a dud box though um, for the convention. So anything that I make and it comes out kind of, I'm going to say half-assed, I guess. Um, if there's like a little minor flaw or something, then I, I'm going to put it down for half price. Because I don't want to, again, waste the materials. And I'll just sell them half off and then somebody can get a piece of my artwork, I guess, for a fraction of the price for a little bit of a flaw in it. Which I don't think it's too bad. I mean, I would buy something like that. can't seem to get the glue off the back of this one. I feel like I have to work too hard to get this done. And then I'm also worried that the acetone is going to bother the, um, okay, that one's good now, bother the, the bezel and it's going to rust it or something. I, I don't know, but I mean, a lot of people wouldn't recommend it if it wasn't decent to use. Gloves are still good if anyone wants an update on the gloves. They're not falling apart yet. I also did a bracelet um, as well. If I can keep myself in camera here. I left all the little bubbles in there as well too. I kind of like the way that looks. This one's going to go in uh, the dud box actually at the, uh, at the sale tomorrow because the back of it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. So someone can get the bracelet for half price. I have another one working there too, but it's still in the mold. And I also got this little ring out of it. But again, the back side, the mold is kind of awkward, so I need to fill it in. And I don't know how to stop it from doing that. I don't think I'm filling the mold up far enough. Maybe that's the problem. But if you're coming here to look for advice on resin, it's not, not a good place. Because I'm still learning myself. Maybe in a year or two, maybe I'll have it figured out. But, I mean, some of the pieces that I'm making are turning out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. When I get this done, I'll show you some of the, um, the silicone molds that were done, too. But like I said, if anything doesn't sell over the weekend, then I'm most likely going to have it listed on my Etsy shop. I'm, I saw on Twitter today, I haven't really looked into it yet, but apparently Etsy is doing something else with their shipping methods that's ticking a lot of people off. Um, I haven't gone in, like I said, to check up on it yet, but a lot of people seem to be getting away from Etsy, and I'm worried that maybe it's something that I might have to do too, so um, I'm not really sure what to be doing. Most of my purchases on Etsy actually come from outside of Canada, so and maybe I can work something out with another platform or something, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to start streaming on Twitch as well, because I don't like sitting here um, without having any music or anything on, and of course, I say this in every stream, YouTube doesn't like you to have music. Not anything that's, you know, copyright, but you can kind of get away with it on Twitch for, while you're streaming, so I don't know, maybe I have to start streaming over there instead. So a little bit sticky. So 
got three left, and then I'm going to start. Then I'm going to start um, putting them together into necklaces. I have to go and print all the packaging with the backing cards and everything um, later, but I'll do that off camera. It's kind of hard to do it when I'm using the computer to stream. Seeing the people watching going up and down there, so welcome to the stream if you're just joining in. Thanks for coming back if you left and came back. I don't know. Maybe cotton swabs would be better. This the chew tips are just like freaking falling apart in my hand. Again, the acetone probably eating it away. I don't really know what to be saying while I'm working. What got me into resin, maybe? My boyfriend got it for me for my birthday. Wanted to try it out, and I did. And I have a lovely relationship with it. <laughs> if anybody wants to know about that. I've always wanted to try resin, but I always thought it was going to be too hard. And it's not as easy as what some people make it out to be. Down in the corner. Got two left to do and then I'm going to start making some necklaces. This is the back side. I also found out that um, these settle a lot differently than when you pour them because I have made designs in the in the resin with the different colors that I poured into the the pendants and yeah they didn't stay <laughs> so I learned that the hard way this one here was supposed to have uh, where's the camera a lot of white in the front and then it all sunk to the back so that didn't work out as planned If you guys, um, if you're watching now or you're watching later and you kind of like this kind of stuff, then let me know and I'll try to do some more streams. Or if you want to see streams of something else, um, let me know that too. Can't seem to get the glue off of this one. I don't know if I bought a better packaging tape, if it would um, stick a little less, but enough to do what I need it to do. This is like dollar store packaging tape. Maybe if I got a, a better brand, maybe it might have worked a little bit easier. Definitely worth wearing the gloves, though. At least my hands aren't going to put up at the top, aren't going to stink later. That one, I got one left to do. This is another one that settled differently. This one was supposed to have a lot more white in it, and the white just ended up at the bottom, and it all sank to the back. So that's another one that I did that I thought was going to turn out completely different than what it did. And uh, but I mean, it still looks nice. So I think if you're a resin artist, from my experience in the past couple of months, is that you're not going to get what you set out to get. You just get what you get. <laughs> There's no, unless you're like doing layer by layer by layer. You know, I know you can, you know, kind of manipulate to do what you want it to do. But if you're just doing like a dirty pour, I think that's what it's called. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Somebody will correct me down in the comments. Um, a dirty pour is just when you're mixing all different colors of resin together with no rhyme or reason. Um, so that's pretty much what I did. And you don't, you can't kind of judge how that's going to turn out. Okay. 
you can get in it. I'm just going to walk off camera here real quick and go and get a um, wet paper towel so I can clean the front of these. And then I'm going to start putting together the necklaces. And then as I get them done, I'll uh, show you guys what they look like. that well the acetone takes the residue off of the glass so that helps a little bit okay I'm just gonna walk off camera here for a couple seconds and then I'm gonna come back clean these up and start putting them on the uh, on the wax cord that I have I'm just gonna take two seconds here I'm just going to pull out these other ones here that I made to, to show you guys. I have to put these on some necklaces as well. I just got a little bit of trimming up to do on them. I know you can sand them as well, but I usually just uh, take a little knife, um, a utility knife, and carve around. So I did this one here. They're kind of a little bit hard to see. This one's kind of um, like a turquoise at the bottom and some gold in the center. I really like the shape of this one. And then there's just a boxy twisted square. This one here is, um, the it has the gold mica flakes in it. It's, it's really hard to see. This one here, I really like this one. It kind of looks turquoise in the bottom, and then it has some purple, and then there's some like a, um, like a rust color in there, coppery color. So that one turned out kind of neat too. And then we have uh, the cylinder that's kind of the same thing. So kind of, I was trying to use up what I had left of the resin. So this one here has a little bit like of the bluish and greenish color on the bottom of the turquoise, and then some purple and the um, the rust color, and then more purple on the top. So I know it's really hard to see it, and my camera doesn't always pick up the right colors. So that kind of that kind of sucks. But I'm going to try to clean these up as best I can. This one still feels like it's a little sticky in places that it shouldn't be sticky. I feel like there's something wrong with this. So I don't know if you guys can see that one or not. This one's got a little bit of white on the top and then it gets to like a, a turquoise green or blue and then it gets really dark on the bottom. Even after I use the acetone, they still feel a little odd on the back, like it's not completely clean. So basically all I do to turn it into a pendant, I gotta move all of these. Now. They're not sticking anymore, so that's a good sign. They feel kind of gritty now because I got them made dirty. So this one here has a um, like brass on the outside. So I got this entire kit of the jump rings off of the Canadian Amazon for $16. And it came with some wax cords too. So that was kind of a bit of a deal. Um, because this one here is... Um, it's got the brass look. I'm just going to grab one of the... Uh, where'd it go? 
I'm horrible at using pliers, and I don't think these are working that well anyway because they don't grip good enough. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with um, an olive green chain, I guess. I have the olive green, and I have black, gray, and white. But because this kind of matches the, the pendant a little bit, then I'm going to use this one. And I'm probably going to make a fool out of myself here because it takes me forever just to get these clothes up. And that's pretty much all I did. And I got these 18 inch wax cords off of Amazon as well. So that's kind of what it looks like. These are the backing cards that I usually use. I guess I can show... This is the backing card. Oh, right here. I had to remember that I got to stay in frame. But all I really do is I push the uh, the ends through the holes. This goes a lot faster off of the camera. So I just let it hang there like this, and then I turn it over to the back, and I kind of just pull these here tight, and then I'll put a bit of tape on the back here, and then, you know, I'll wrap this around and put it in the, the packages. So that's pretty much all I do, but I think these turned out nice, so I'm going to continue putting the jump rings and the necklaces and cleaning off of the... Uh, Oh, I'm rambling because I'm trying to find things to say and make myself sound like an idiot. If anyone wants to chime in and ask any questions, feel free. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if you're watching this at a later date. Let me know that I'm not making a fool out of myself. I don't know. Tell me something. But I don't like the feel of that. It feels great. Hey, now it feels better. So I'm just going to take this one and hang it up over here for now. Clean the cat hair off my monitor before I put anything else on it. You guys can't see it, I don't think, but I'm just hanging it off the, off the side of my graphics tablet until I get them all done. This one here is uh, gold, so I'm going to use a gold jump ring for this one. If anyone wants to know what the weather is like here in Newfoundland currently, great topic, um, it's raining. And it's been raining since yesterday, I think. It's supposed to be a nice weekend, so it's something to look forward to, I guess. Okay, I'm going to use a black cord for this one. And a gold I got a, a thing that comes with the jump rings as well. Um, it's this little piece here that goes on your finger. And you're supposed to be able to put the jump ring inside. Let's see if I can't get closer here. And you're supposed to be able to twist it and bend it so you don't have to feel like you're kind of all over the place. But it never works for me, so I tend not to use it. I really need an overhead um, camera for this, but I don't have room for my camera right now. I haven't used my DSLR camera in months, actually, because I stopped doing speed paint on my channel, so I didn't feel the need to have it. So just packed away. So that's how this one looks. That's the front of the pendant. I'm trying to stay in frame. I'm not doing a very good job, though. What's that one's gold and like a turquoise bluish color, I guess. The creaking is my chair. It loves to make noises. Just taking off any residue that's left behind from the paper towel.
thanks to the one person who seems to be sticking around. I hope that's not myself. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking away. I don't even know if there's actually a person watching or if that's my other screen telling me that I'm watching myself. So. What I get for not advertising. This one is silver. Some of these silver jump ring. I also have like, um, they're not black, but they're darker than the silver too. Let me use this. Would be helpful if I got a cord ready. I think I'm going to try to put a gray one on this one. I know I feel like using black for everything. People may want to have like a variety. Sometimes all you see is black chains. And I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people want black and... I should be using black cords instead. And I just screwed this one up, so I have to get another one. That's my cell phone going off in the background, if anyone's interested in that. Oh my god. Things always seem to go worse when you're trying to do something where there's people watching. And that one's on the floor. Okay, try number three. I think we're gonna get it this time. And that's how that one looks. This is like the like the red rusty color with what was supposed to be white um but the white all sank to the back so that one didn't work out as planned but it still looks nice because i'm only going to be streaming for another 15 minutes or so i think maybe I think in the fall I'm going to start trying to stream for a little bit on Saturdays, but during the summer it's kind of kind of hard to want to do that. Well, I don't think I can use this one. Yes, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. I'm kind of concerned with a couple of these. I think I think the ones with the, the rust color in there may have to be in the dud box. I don't think they hardened like they should have. I'm going to give them the night anyway and see if they harden up a little bit more. I did put an extra layer of resin on the top. So the top seems to be holding up pretty good. might be actually kind of boring to a lot of people just watching me make a necklace of it. Oh, Oops. Break it. I'm going to break everything. That's this one. Again, it's supposed to have a whole lot of white. It all sank to the back. These set really, really well. The, uh, the blue and white ones, those are my favorite out of them all. And I've lost my last viewer, so I'm here all by myself. All by myself. 
Well, if no one stops by in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to call the stream completed. And move, oh, that was great. And move on to something else. They don't have a steady stream time or date, so I mean, that doesn't help. Oh, look at that. Somebody came back. Welcome to the stream. This one here turned out really nice. I like these a lot. One with the uh, the blue. I'll show you this one in a second. I have like quite a few left to make, but these seem to be taking a lot longer to complete than I thought. This one's got the blue oh, blue on the top and the white on the bottom. And these really remind me of the ocean quite a bit, and I like how they turned out. I don't have a thumbnail for um, for the live streams. People are probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. And they come in, they see me making necklaces, and they're not interested, and then they leave again. That's probably the case here. It's all good. I'm not sure what to do about this. It kind of feels a little tacky. Alright guys, I think I'm going to clue up the live stream because there's, there's nobody here. And I got my doubts that people are actually going to come back and watch this. I think I may have to use a little bit of soap and water to clean this one up. It seems like there's quite a bit of residue on here. Alright guys, well I'm going to call this stream done. If you are interested in the resin, but you can't catch a stream because I don't announce it, or I always stream the wrong day, wrong time, wrong everything, let me know down in the comments if you're watching this at a later date and you want to see me live stream, maybe we can kind of work out a time and a date and place and all that crap. But I think I'm good to go now. And, um, yeah, let me know what you want to see in the live streams. I don't necessarily have to be doing resin all the time. Just somebody could let me know what it is you might want to see. Come on. I should have a studio vlog out on Tuesday. Should is the key word if work doesn't get in the way too much. I'm just going to finish up this necklace here and then call it a day. And that's what this one looks like. Again, it's supposed to have more white, but it all sank to the back. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the stream. We've been streaming for 45 minutes. And uh, like I said, I think I keep picking the wrong time or something. But I will see you guys in a studio vlog, hopefully on Tuesday of next week. I think that's like the 15th or the 16th or something. I'm actually um, not able to check right now, but... Um, thanks for stopping in and watching. If you're watching this later, thanks for re-watching or watching the, um, the saved live stream. Whatever. I don't know how to end this. I'm just going to go. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll try to do a live stream again sometime soon, hopefully at a better time. And, um, yeah. All right, guys. See you later.